Hello everyone. Today for Christmas dinner we're going to be making Jack Scalfani's French onion soup. Now I've been thinking about what we should do for a Christmas dinner and I've had, I went through quite a few recipes. You've recommended me some, it, it phonetically it sounds like masochist Christmas turkey. I'll, I'll look at that later and I've been looking at all the recipes you guys have been sending me. But I, this recipe for the French onion soup hit a couple things that I like. The first is it has a lot of garlic and a lot of onions, which will uh, make sure that everybody's breath at the party smells absolutely awful. It also has literally a pound of cheese on it afterwards, so everybody will be constipated and the bathroom will be clear and free for you. And the third thing is everybody loves French onion soup, or at least I do. And if I hear like French onion soup is at a party, I'll go right for that shit. And if it's similar to everything else, it'll probably be a big disappointment. So this will start off next year where you won't be invited to these parties. And then I can do a solo Christmas dinner for you. So what you're going to need for this recipe is you're going to need a big loaf of bread. He uses sourdough. I'm just going to use Italian bread. You're going to need a quarter stick of butter. You're going to need Dijon mustard some kind of dry white wine. He uses Chardonnay, so I'm gonna use a yellowtail Chardonnay. You're gonna need uh, the less sodium chicken broth, beef broth. You're gonna need six cloves of garlic, six nice sized onions, because you wanna get about three pounds of it, but most of the onions should come around three pounds if you get six. And he uses grated Parmesan cheese, and he uses uh, grated Swiss, but I'm gonna change this recipe up. I'm going to use grated American cheese at the end of it. I got three slices on here. I'm sick and tired of the French being pains in the asses to us, so we're actually gonna call this recipe Freedom Onion Soup. All right, so we'll get started here. Oh, you're also gonna need salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna specifically show you how Jack wants these cut up. I'm gonna take one of your onions, you're gonna use a serrated knife, and you're gonna cut off one side of it. So we'll cut off the one side, we don't need that. And then with your other side, you're gonna cut almost all of the way through it, but you're not gonna cut all the way through. And then you're gonna take the top of it, and you're gonna peel it off. And now what this does is for him, this starts a little bit of a uh, area where he can rip the rest of the onion off. So we'll do that. Now we're gonna take a second knife, a overly large knife, and what we wanna do for these is we wanna cut this in half, take it, and we wanna go against the grain. We wanna have really big pieces of onion when we're doing this. Oh, make sure your fingers lay nice and flat so you cut them. I'm just kidding, don't fucking do that. We want nice size cuts here. Make sure, yeah, we'll cut that part. And then you're gonna do that for all the rest of the onions. Now while I'm doing this one, I'm going to muse for a minute. I've never seen a video where somebody actually cuts garlic on camera. So we'll, we'll have to uh, not do that either. So I'm gonna cut the rest of these up. Got the garlic and the onions. Here's the garlic chopped up and the onions. Now I made a mistake. I went to the store and got five fucking heads of garlic. Because this moron came out with a big bag of it, so I thought he chopped all that up. And I realized, I was looking at the video again, and I'm like, there's no way there's that much garlic. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the stove, and we're going to start heating up. Start heating up some butter. Probably want to heat it on medium-ish. And now we're going to heat this up a little bit. And while we're heating it up, just throw the garlic right in here. Get a little covering on the bottom here. Just throw the garlic right in there. We'll let this kind of... Actually, don't throw the garlic in. We'll let this heat up for a minute and we'll uh, come right back. It's about heated up, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw in the garlic a little early. So we're going to get these in before we get the onions. And we'll let this heat up a little bit longer. This will give it some extra flavor and let the garlic cook a little bit in there too. I'll probably will turn my heat. Yeah, my heat should be fine. And we'll get the onions in here in just a few minutes. All right, garlic's been in here for about like two minutes or so. Actually, probably about a minute. So I'm gonna get in 
all of our onions. Just be very careful when you do this. Bump right in. Now I tested my pan beforehand to make sure all my onions would fit in here. And thankfully they do. I have no idea if the broth's gonna fit in here later though, so we'll find out. Now, from what Jack has on his video, we're probably gonna be stir sauteing this for about 45 minutes or so, or 40 minutes. So what I want you to do is Go get some tunes, go watch another video while you wait. Actually, don't do that. Go, uh, go ask me questions in the comment section while I'm doing this. But, uh, I'm actually going to read a couple off. So I got one right here. One right here. From Livonian. It says, shit channel, I hope you die. Uh, thank you. I, I appreciate that comment. Thank you so much. Alright, so we'll come back in a little bit once these onions are good. What we want to do with the onions now is we want to make them like a light gold. Don't go too good on it, but you're going to be doing this probably on medium heat or so for quite a while. So have some fun while you're doing it. I'll see you in about 40 minutes. If you take a look at this, it's looking nice and brown. Most of this is all done. You see the little pieces on the bottom in the back here? It's exactly what we want. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take that half a cup or quarter cup of uh, the white wine and we're going to put it right in there. And what it's going to do, it's going to lift up the uh, juices from the bottom. So we'll put this right in here. Now we want to simmer this, so we're going to turn her down. I guess it's turning off, but oh, look at this. Mm. Smells good, even. Mix this all around in here. Hmm, that white wine makes it smell really good. You see it? You see a little bit of it in there? Let me get that flame back on on low. All right, I got it relit now, and we want to simmer the wine in there for like two to three minutes. Now the smell of it, I like to smell a Chardonnay. And if it doesn't evaporate, then uh, it's not a huge deal. You'll have some extra wine for yourself later, which will be really nice. All right, so I've had it about two, three minutes already since I was off camera. So we're gonna put in our beef broth. Cup of chicken stock. Then we're gonna do our little bit of Dijon mustard. I have to look at the recipe again, give me one second. Just came back, I found his recipe. It's about a spoonful of the Dijon mustard. Now I have a pretty big spoon, so I'll stir that right in there. And what we wanna do once the all the broth is together, we wanna bring it up to a boil, and we wanna simmer this for about 20 minutes or so. And we're also gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper back in here as well. We'll taste it in like 10 minutes or so as well, but we'll put some salt and pepper in here. I'll come back in about 20 minutes. Actually, before I go away, I'm gonna put the salt and pepper in there now. I got it coming up a little bit. Salt. Is pepper coming out? There we go. Pepper's coming out real slow. All right, that should be good. Stir it around. Bring it up a little bit. And then so we'll turn it back up just a little bit. Then we're gonna let it simmer. And it should be. It looks really good. It smells pretty good. So hopefully we'll see what it is. Now, once it comes up from a simmer, then we're gonna do the bread. Now the only reason I waited so long to do the bread was because uh, I have to bake mine because I don't have a broiler to melt the cheese on the top of it. So I didn't want to heat up the oven, bake the bread then let it cool, then heat up the oven again. That's just a waste. We're gonna do it all at the same time. So I'll come back in a little bit. Here it is at about 10 minutes worth of simmering. Jack's right, I gotta have a little bite of this, see what, see if it's any good. It smells pretty good actually though. See if it's bland or not. Yeah, it's a bit bland. I'm gonna put a little more off. Uh, salt and pepper in there mm. 
stir this up some more. I'm actually, I'm honestly surprised this freaking pan was large enough to do this whole thing. I was pretty worried. But we'll come back in about, actually, since uh, we can now, uh, since we got 10 minutes for this to still simmer, heat up your ovens, do it about, if you got a broiler, use your broiler for uh, the soup later, but if you just have an oven, I'd say probably 450, 425 would be uh, just fine. I'm gonna do 450. And uh, slice up, we'll slice up our bread, I'll show that in just a minute. And we'll heat that up, and then after we get that heated, the soup should be done simmering as well, and then that should taste pretty good too. So we'll go get the bread started and we'll heat up our oven. All right, I got a round tray here that I'm gonna use for the oven, use a baking pan or whatever. I'm not gonna cut it on the cutting board right now. I'm also gonna use the wrong kind of knife. This is a watermelon knife. But anything serrated should be fine. So make yourself some nice pieces of bread. Cut the end of this off. This is the wrong freaking knife for this, but it should be fine. I'm gonna do just two pieces, because uh, basically I'm just having one serving right now. As I heat it up and portion out tins, or not tins, excuse me, as I portion out uh, things of it, oh, that's a good idea to use the tin. I will uh, heat up more bread as I need it too. For right now, I'm just gonna leave, when I'm done with it, I'm just gonna put it in uh, a container put it in the fridge and then whenever I want it, I'll portion it out, heat up bread, heat it up in the oven and it should be good. So I'm gonna cut up another couple pieces. I'm gonna throw this in the oven and then we'll see how it looks. All right, it's been simmering for the 20 minutes. We're gonna shut it off. And it actually looks good still, smells good. So I would normally use like a glass dish, but I don't think I have a good glass dish. So I'm gonna use a seven inch pan tonight. And what I would recommend, ah, fuck, don't burn yourself like I just did, Jesus Christ. I think it leaked through the bottom, burned through the bottom a little bit. Let me grab a plate. Yeah, grab a plate first and then put it in the plate. I think I burnt myself through the fucking pan. So I'm gonna give myself a generous helping of crap in here. Hmm. See, looking good. And then we're gonna wait for the bread to be done and then we're going to put the bread on top of this and we'll do the cheese, so I'll come back when the bread's ready. All right, our bread should be about ready. Let's take a look at that. Oh yeah, damn thing. Let's see if you can see it. Oh yeah, this looks nice. I'm gonna leave that on for a minute. All right, so what we're gonna do with the bread is we're just gonna put, I'm gonna put the two big pieces on this one. I'm gonna put this nice little small one on this one. I decided to get a uh, smaller bowl as well just in case but I think sorry about that I'm making freaking mac and cheese so now we uh, want to put our cheese in here so we're gonna grate I'm gonna grate this American cheese right over the top we're gonna do the small one first we'll grate a good chunk of this I got like four or five slices of American cheese. Actually, I got about three slices of American cheese. I'm going to grate right over this. And you want to do it nice and freshly grated. You don't want to buy store-bought, already grated American cheese. That wouldn't be any fun. No, we want to grate this ourselves. chunks we can leave the chunks right in there get the rest chunks don't melt on that pan and then we're gonna grate some parmesan right on top of it as well and 
Now I'm just gonna bake up the small one for right now. I'll do the big one here in just a minute. But we'll bake this up, we'll melt the top, and we'll see how it looks. All right, I think this should be about ready. Let's take it out and show you what it looks like. Should my... Just gotta be careful. I think these look pretty good. Except for this one, obviously. I wish I had some more cheese on the top, but this one looks pretty good. So I'm gonna let these cool for a little bit, and I'm gonna come back to them, and I'm gonna try them. All right, they're sufficiently cool, so you can touch the top of them. Now the bread seems really nice, and the cheese looks really nice. So I'm gonna have a piece with the bread and the cheese and try and get some of the broth in there. Let's see if I can get a piece of onion. There we go. Let's see how it tastes. Can you see myself? There we go. Actually, it goes good with the American cheese. I would uh, honestly say, though, Jack is kind of right. It is pretty bland, but, I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever had. I would honestly recommend eating this. It's pretty good. I would probably put a little bit more salt and pepper in it still. But... If you make this for Christmas dinner, I don't think you get any wows from it, but I don't think you'd necessarily disappoint everybody. It does take a little bit, about an out what it took like an hour, hour and a half or so for this, but it was really easy to do as long as you got all the stuff for it. Now, since that was that, I would uh, recommend everybody have a Merry Christmas. I always look at the comments, so you can recommend me anything. I should be making another video before Christmas, but if you want to do this for your Christmas dinner, I would more than more than happily recommend it. Jack actually did a good job for it. All right, have a good one.